So in this section, we will talk about the RRC inactive state. Uh, the RRC inactive state is a new state that is introduced in 5G. So in 4G, uh, if you recall, we only had two states. In 5G, uh, we have three RRC states. So they are represented here. So you have the RRC connected, uh, then you have the RRC inactive, and you have the RRC idle. So this, um, just to kind of highlight uh, the difference, uh, this was available in 4G um, as well, right? And this is the new 5G state. And this is somewhere in the middle between connected and idle. So you can, if you are in, say, you, let, let's start with idle, right? So in an idle state, you, is, you establish a connection uh, and you enter the connected state. Now, in the connected state, you can either come directly to RRC idle or you can have an interim step of RRC inactive. Say, uh, so once you are in con uh, RRC connected, you can uh, perform what is called uh, the E node B can, uh, the G node B will send a release with suspend and then you will be in the RRC inactive. Now, if you are in RRC inactive and you want to get back to connected, you will perform a process called resume. And this will put you back into connected. Now, if you are in inactive and you want to go to idle, the G node B will send you a release message and you will go back to idle. So you can, you can jump between the, these uh, three states. Um, and let's get more information on the inactive state here. So in the inactive state, a UE-specific DRX may be configured by upper layers or by the RRC layer. So you can have, so if you are familiar with the DRX, which is a RAN feature, uh, a discontinuous reception, you can have a DRX cycle specific to a given UE, uh, and the UE uh, may, uh, will have will obey that specific DRX when it is in inactive state because it's actively listening to the paging channel even here. Uh, UE controlled mobility based on network configuration. So the UE kind of is looking at uh, all the different cells in the area uh, and will perform uh, selection and reselection uh, as per the thresholds that are defined by the G node B. The UE stores the UE inactive uh, access uh, stratum context. Obviously the UE, if it's in inactive state, it has not gone to full idle. So it does have some information about uh, the access network context. A RAN based notification area is configured by the RRC layer. Uh, uh, the UE monitors short messages transmitted with uh, paging RNTI uh, over the downlink control information, DCI, right, uh, using, so the UE in a sense is monitoring the paging channel uh, and those pages for that UE are identified by its uh, TIMZ. Uh, and we will look into what TIMZ is, but just keep in mind for now that uh, in inactive state, the UE is actively monitoring paging channel as well for uh, incoming pages, right? Uh, it performs neighbor cell measurements uh, and performs cell reselection as needed. It performs uh, RAN-based notification area updates periodically when moving outside the configured. Um, and it acquires system information and can send system information request if configured, right? So uh, at a very high level, it, this state here is in between uh, the connected and the idle. Uh, it, uh, it listens to your paging. It performs cell selection, reselection, um, like it was uh, doing in the idle mode in 4G. Uh, and in addition, the difference here is that it maintains the access stratum context here so that it can, uh, it can get back to the connected mode pretty quickly. Now, one of the reasons why uh, 5G introduced inactive state is to cut down in the latency uh, for uh, getting service to a device. So if you uh, can imagine in 4G, since we had only two states, if a subscriber was uh, in, in idle and it wanted to get back to connected, it has to go through all the uh, ciphering integrity uh, and RRC security mode procedures 
and then it will send a service request uh, and uh, be able to do either data or signaling. Obviously, that all takes time, right? So what 5G thought was, okay, how about if we introduce a middle uh, layer here where we keep the user uh, before it goes to idle in this state. That way, if it wants to come back and do some data or signaling, we can immediately put it in connected mode. And in this state, we store all the inactive AS context. That way, it does not have to go through the entire procedure, which induces latency. Right. So that is the whole objective why we have this uh, third state here uh, in 5G. So that wraps up our discussion on RRC inactive state, uh, which is the new state in 5G. Uh, RRC connected and idle are similar states as they were in 4G. So we didn't cover them. So I'm assuming you have good enough knowledge about those states. Uh, in the next section, we will talk about the SMF, the session management function.